just explain to you a little bit about what reads are, just so you can help you understand um, why we do what we do. So, reeds come from the bamboo plant, as you see in this picture here of wild, I guess bamboo in the wild that I sniped from Google Images somewhere. Um, this is what a reed plant looks like, and notice how they're kind of shiny. Now take a, that's the bark of the plant, take a look at your reed, and notice that it has a sh Well, it has a shiny part. Well guess what, that shiny part of your reed is the bark of the bamboo plant. And so your reed is sort of a vert vertical slice of that plant that has then been shaped and polished perfectly flat on the bottom. But like any plant, it has these long skinny tubes that go the length of the plant. And those capillaries or tubes or capillaries carry water from the soil uh, to, the, to nourish the plant. Well, this reed has capillaries in it because it's chopped out of that bamboo plant. And you can see them, they're the little dots that you see on the bottom of your reed. And there's no way my video camera will show you those dots. But if you take a minute and look at your reed, you'll see those dots. And imagine each one of those dots is a straw going the length of the reed. And that straw was just chopped off like that dot. You have these longer lines here on the cut surface of the reed. Those are also those straws or those capillary tubes, except they're long lines because your straws have now been cut at a really harsh angle like that instead of just sliced off square. So what we aim to do is try to seal those capillaries off a bit so that way water doesn't go in and out of the reed so quickly. It will still go in and out of the reed when you soak it, water will go in. When you leave it in your reed case to dry overnight, water will leave. But if we can slow the rate of that water in and out, then the reed will not warp so much. Wood or bamboo warps when water goes in and out, especially at a, at a, at a high rate. Um.